Hello everybody, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 2 to my Let's Make a Game uh, series for Unity. Uh, so in this episode we're going to be doing some game mechanic stuff, like making a player controller and having a move around uh, for our simple game that we're going to make. So let's get straight into it. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of programming too. So we're going to start off by making a platform. So I just like to make a a plane. Just bring it down a little bit. And this is where our uh, uh, level is going to be on. Like this is going to be the ground. So I'm going to scale this out a little bit. Maybe four times the size. And I'm going to make a material right here. So we can change the color of it. I'm just going to call it ground. And I'll make it a sort of darker gray. Easier on the eyes. Um, I'm also going to make a cube for the player because the player is going to be a cube and then I'll make another material I'll actually make a folder called materials and another let's see material uh, player and the player will be green or blue yeah we'll, we'll do like a nice light blue okay so I'm going to take both the materials and I'm going to put them into the materials folder. So that's a little uh, organized. Uh, in scripts, I'm going to make a C sharp script called player controller. And for the cube, I'm just going to rename, rename him to player by hitting uh, the game object and hitting F2. And I'm going to uh, rename the plane to ground. Okay. So double click on the player controller script. All right, so after you have Visual Studio open, it should look something like this, um, something very similar at least. Uh, that's because I have changed all my tabs around and my theme is different. So uh, I'll include mine in the description. Uh, how you down or blah, how you import yours is um, you go to import and export settings and import selected environment setting and the download that I gave you, you would just do that with that file. So uh, let's get started. I'm just gonna remove these these things and I'm gonna make some variables. Uh, let's see, move speed. Uh, let's see, I'll just do that. Uh, I'm gonna make another one for smooth damp. Probably gonna change that. I like to make my methods private. I did do a series on um, on programming, so if you see an annotation on the screen, I would click that so you can learn how to program C Sharp in Unity. Uh, so uh, I'm going to continue now. So if we hit the key W, if we hit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy that actually. If we hit S, A, and D. Or if we hold the keys actually, then we will move the player forward. By the move speed multiplied by delta time. And we're going to do the same thing for everything else just change the direction and vector 3 dot back vector 3 dot left right and forward or what is this back of oh, D's right uh, left back forward um, this is short for vector 3 or vector 3 uh, new vector whatever new vec is equal to a new vector 3 Zero, one, zero. What is that? That's up actually. Hold on. Back would be like that. That is uh, vector three. Bleh. Vector three dot back is just short for these coordinates. Okay. So now if we go to the game and we put this script on our player. and start the game 
you can see he moves he moves around but not the way we want him to so I'm gonna place him on the ground for now we're gonna give him physics one day but I'm gonna put the camera over here and his front what is it where is it Z so that's in the right place Just position the camera to however you like. Okay. So, right now we have the camera. See, I'm going to move the camera on the player. So, it's attached to it. So, when we move, the camera's going to follow the player. But we don't want it like this. We want it to be nice and smooth. So, we're going to get a another script. And we're going to call it player camera just open that one up reload all and I'm just gonna make a just one method uh, let's see private void fixed update transform that position is equal to vector 3 dot lerp from from our position right now to the player's position, which we're gonna get right here. Player public game object, player object to the player object dot transform dot position at let's see. We're also gonna make a uh, player control. What is it, player controller? Uh, player controller is equal to get component player object. Where is it? Uh, oh, get component player controller. That's actually wrong. That's uh, player object dot get component. So we're gonna find this this player controller script on this object and then we're gonna lerp from this position to time at what's it called player controller dot smooth damp times time dot dot to time so now we can probably take this off let's see what happens player camera did I make that part private public game and we're having problems so I'm just gonna copy that okay, okay okay it magically works now so I'm gonna take the player oh wait this might not work yeah okay this is not gonna work uh, I'm actually gonna be a little sketchy here I'm gonna make a this is gonna be the position of it so we're gonna have uh, camera follow. Okay, so we're gonna make the camera follow game object. And this is actually going to be the where the camera's gonna sit. So if we open the player camera script again, uh, you're gonna wanna hit yes for this. And that, uh, I'll explain what that does later. But uh, right now we're gonna wanna make a, another public game object, camera follow object and then we're going to change this to camera camera follow object so now if we do this and move it's somewhat smooth it's kind of kind of jaggedy i wonder why hmm Maybe because I'm recording. <laughs> I'm not sure. Getting like 6, 75. That's crazy. Frame dipping. Or not dipping. Uh, different. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera and the camera follow. Uh, what if I do this? I wonder. No. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh camera follow I guess it's okay I mean we can we can fix that up later 
but yeah, okay, it's fine for now. Uh, we'll fix it later. Uh, so, what do we want to do now? Uh, I mean, okay, so that's basically it for now. Um, I think we're good. Uh, very simple episode, just wanted to make a player controller. Uh, I guess that's step one, really. So, next episode we're probably going to do um, enemies or make a main menu. I don't know, something something UI related, probably. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more. And have a good one.